everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a heart to heart for you. Um, I've been promising this video for a really, really long time. I'm going to be doing a video kind of about my advice and tips for people who are thinking of starting a YouTube channel, people who have one, aren't really happy with it. Um, so yeah, just before I get any comments about it, um, I'm not sure if you guys know, but this is my second channel. I have a main channel where I have about 4,000 subscribers on there. Um, so this is kind of more my advice from that channel and the experience of that one. This is very new, but I'm presenting my advice on this channel, even though it's only got like 300 subscribers. So just so we get that out of the way. Um, but this is my advice. You can take it or leave it. No judgment. First thing is you should have good quality videos. Um, I know personally, me with YouTubers, if I'm trying to find new YouTubers, if they have crap quality videos, I don't want to watch them. So, if YouTube is something you want to persist with, I would invest in getting a camera, some sort of DSLR, some sort of, I don't know, some good quality camera or video recorder thing. Um, typically, your phones aren't good enough, I don't think. Um, unless you've got a really good one. Um, personally, I don't think the iPhones are good enough for good quality videos. Um, but I would recommend getting good quality videos and that will already kind of start the subscriber count coming in because people are going to want to watch good quality videos. To make your videos even better quality, make sure you always have good lighting. Um, my lighting isn't fantastic, but at least you can see my face and there's no shadows behind me. Um, so. Typically, I'll see people who will film with a light behind them. This is to the side of me, not to the back of me. And I have a huge floor to ceiling window here and a window here, providing heaps of natural light. Um, I prefer natural light. I just think it looks quite nice and crisp. Um, but studio lighting is great if you don't have kind of access to this kind of window or this sunlight. Um, you can get studio lights, but make sure you have really good lighting because People don't want to watch videos that are in the dark and they can't see your face or that are way too bright that they can't even tell you have eyes. So get good lighting in your videos. Make sure you're providing original content. So yes, beauty YouTubers and things will kind of follow the same stream I suppose, but don't try and impersonate other people or try and, I don't know, just don't try and impersonate other people. Try and completely be yourself on the camera um, because you will... People are going to want to watch videos where you're the original person they're watching. If you have another YouTuber that you're trying to act like or that you're trying to be like, yes, you can take inspiration. And in your early years, yes, you do try and imitate them a little bit. I did that too. Um, but, yeah, try and be your own original person because people don't want to watch a duplicate of someone else. They want to watch you. Next thing is try and reply to everyone's comments. Now, obviously, once your channel gets to a point where it's on a much bigger scale, say you get... 10,000, 100,000 subscribers, that can kind of be hard to reply to every comment. But when you're at a stage like me, when you've got about like 5,000 people who are watching your videos, um, I think it's quite important that you have that kind of personal connection and you reply to most people's comments. So sometimes I'll miss a comment simply because I can't really be bothered to reply to it or because I've already answered it before or I'll be in a bad mood. But most of the time, I'll reply to every single comment that gets on my video. I get a notification that goes through my email. I get a notification on my phone. Every single comment you guys post, whether it's on this channel or my main channel, I always try and reply to it. Um, and from a logistics point of view, the more comments that your video has, the more likely it's going to get more popular. People are going to want to engage in conversation. So if you reply to every comment, you go from 10 comments to 20 comments. So that's kind of a logistical point of view too, but... Just out of being that personal touch, I would recommend replying to every single comment. Don't do subs for subs. Um, I did this maybe the first week I had YouTube and then I got sick of it. If you do sub for sub, people are subscribing to you. So sub to sub is basically where it's you subscribe, you subscribe to me and I'll subscribe to you. That's basically how it works. But people will subscribe to you and they're not going to watch your videos because they're not subscribing out of genuine interest for your videos. They're subscribing for their own subscribe account. So don't do sub for sub because eventually you'll get this super long subscription list and of people you don't even watch and probably don't even provide that good of content and you just, I don't know, you just don't, don't do it and you, got, you don't have a genuine viewer if you do that and they're not going to watch your videos, you're not going to watch theirs, it's really not benefiting anyone, so don't do sub for sub. Okay, um, 
The next thing is speak clearly and loud. I try and do this, obviously, um, but I hate watching videos where people are like, Literally, I've watched videos where people talk like that. It is so irritating. Speak clearly, speak loudly, speak confidently. The great thing about YouTube, and people are gonna like comment on me for this because I shouldn't have said this, but the great thing is you are here at a camera. There's no one else you're talking to. Yes, it's getting posted online, and yes, people are gonna see it. And yes, you might be fearful of the judgment, but I'll get onto that later. But it's just you with the camera, so be loud and be confident and talk clearly because people don't want to watch videos of people who are shy. They want to watch videos of people who are like screaming at the camera or are quite confident within themselves. So don't speak mumbling and yeah, no mumbling. What in Bird? Why have you heard that? Okay, okay, Rapunzel, please stop with the mumbling. You know how I feel about the mumbling. Blah, 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 blah. Except the fact that when you put your videos on YouTube, people are going to judge you. So. I have witnessed quite a few people who have started up YouTube channels um, who have had a success but then decided it's not for them or who have not done it because of hate that they've gotten or because they don't like people criticizing them. You have to understand YouTube is accessible to everyone. Yes, you can create private videos but that's not really the point. When you create content on YouTube, it's getting posted, it's going out there, people are seeing it. Yes, people are saying, oh, I'm not going to be judgmental. Of course they're judging you. Like, everyone's going to judge me. Everyone's going to judge me. I judge other people on their videos. Not in a rude way, but you, you're going to be judging other people and judging other people's content and providing criticism for it, hopefully constructive. But you're going to be getting criticism. You're going to get hate. You're going to get people who are going to judge you. So be prepped for that. Don't go into YouTube thinking, oh, it's going to be fairyland, la 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 I've had hate comments before, not badly, but I have had them before. You just gotta wipe it off and think, you know what, that person obviously has a problem and it's something they need to deal with, not something I need to deal with. And if you have b bad comments on your videos, don't start replying back and getting angry. Just mute them, delete the comment, block them, put the tape over their mouth. There's like a little button that says, I think it's like, mute this person from commenting on my channel or hide these users' comments on my channel. So. They sit there and they want to say so many things, but you're just putting tape over their mouth and it's going to irritate the crap over them. So that's my recommendation is if you get any hate or any criticism, don't backlash at it. Don't encourage your viewers to backlash at it. Just mute it. Disappear it. Make it go away. I'm not saying present your life on YouTube in a way that it looks perfect because no, one likes, no one's life is perfect. But try, if you're making content, you're not just making it for you, you're also making it for other people. So try and be in a happy mood when you film videos and try and be a bit of an uplifter for them. Be the voice of social change, my friends. That's it. I'm not saying in any way, shape or form that you've got to present your life in a way that it isn't, but try and pick those happy moments and use them to make videos. Is associate your social media. So if you have an Instagram, if you have a Twitter, if you have Pinterest, if you have Spotify, if you have... Uh, what's another one? I don't know. If you have any of those, by the way, all of them are listed down below if you guys would like to follow me. But if you have any of those, associate them all to your YouTube channel, create links and things, uh, share your videos on all the platforms, and kind of build a media, a social media army, a little bit, on all different social medias that all link back to your YouTube channel. AdSense. Now, for those of you who may not know, yes, I do get paid for my YouTube videos. Um, it's not very much um, compared to, I don't know, Zoella or people who, like that who make big livings out of them. It's not like that. It's just a little thing I got going on the side. Um, but I do make videos, money out of my videos, and I wish I had done that so much sooner. I have a video on my main channel that has 300,000 views. I could have gotten money for all those 300,000 views, but I didn't get AdSense until... I don't know, 50,000 views ago, I could have gotten so much more money. So, if you are wanting to pursue this as a money thing, originally I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be about that, but then I thought, you know what, I'm still doing it because I enjoy it, why can't I just add money into the equation? So, I would recommend getting AdSense as soon as you start it up. Basically how it works is they put ads on your videos, every time someone clicks on it or has an impression of it, you get paid a little bit of money. It might be like one cent or two cents, but eventually it adds up and you start getting paid. So I would recommend getting that started up quite, quite early. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you out in some way. If you're thinking of building a YouTube channel or maybe it gave you a little bit of a behind the scenes. Actually, I've got one more thing to say. Also, thumbnails. Um, 
make your own thumbnails and get your thumbnails verified early. Um, have kind of a theme running through your thumbnail so that people can identify you across the internet as, oh, that's Paige. Oh, that's, you know, Zoella has that, like, typical, um, what's called the, like, it's really pretty. I think it's called lobster font, but she's got, like, beautiful font, and everyone, when they see a video, they recognize it, and they're like, oh, hey, that's Zoella. Me, on my main channel, I have a theme going of green and blue, so I typically have this kind of um, aerial, not aerial, it's called Oswald, but this Oswald font um, with these green geometric shapes and that's kind of my, I suppose, my branding for my channel. So try and create a branding, try and have your own thumbnail theme and your own video theme and film in the same spot as much as you can and yeah, that's kind of it. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my main channel if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next week. Goodbye!